Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Thursday, the 18th of February. A few stocks today which uh, have taken a long time to uh, get underway and f- uh, for the bulls, and maybe one of them is going to be uh, Amigo Holdings. We've had so many full storms here, it's been uh, absolutely painful. Uh, but uh, the current situation has got a higher low for uh, February versus uh, January. Broken the initial February neckline resistance at 7.16 pence and above that, and especially with an, a decent end of day close above the 50 day moving average at 8 pence, uh, we've got that uh, the top of the uh, broadening triangle from the end of November at 14 pence as the uh, potential end of March target. Obviously, we've been here before. We've had uh, bull traps through the 50 day line in uh, January, in December, in November and in October. So uh, let's see whether this is finally the uh, time for Amigo to shine. Uh, but uh, at least the upside here, we've got 7.16 or 7.2 pence uh, neckline resistance as notional support. So uh, if we're back below that, then the 14 pence target is certainly off the table. A stock which has been requested today um, after being, I think first I first looked at it uh, uh, the weekend on Sunday in the recent uh, Past at that point, it was uh, back around 47 pence. We op- opened up at that area on Monday and uh, had a good week. Uh, hit that target of a pound uh, earlier in the week, and now we've got consolidation. Uh, it looks as though uh, the uh, support here uh, around um, uh, 71 pence is uh, basically testing old resistance at 70 and a half pence as uh, new support. So while we're above uh, the 70 pence area, looking for further upside. If you are a fan of the stock and looking for uh, more uh, on the upside, then the potential here is for uh, the stock to move to a December resistance line projection as high as, uh, what's that, £1.40. So above 70 pence, best case scenario target at uh, Braveheart up to 140, which would be quite a coup given where we were uh, only uh, as recently as December at 12 pence. Uh, another stock which has uh, finally come uh, or coming good for the bulls is uh, Edenville, or well, looks as though it might be. Uh, here we're waiting for a sustained uh, uh, break of the 200-day moving average. We've had uh, quite a few false dawns uh, as far as this is concerned, so October uh, and then again uh, last month. So ideally, really, an end-of-day close or a weekly close above 40 pence to then open up the prospect of a broadening triangle target as high as uh, that June resistance line projection at 85 pence on a two to three month time frame. But uh, basically, uh, the message from Edenville is that uh, unless we see sustained price action above 40 pence, it's probably better just to wait. A uh, stock which has been slightly frustrating, uh, despite uh, the fundamentals being teed up quite nicely, is uh, Empire Metals. Good update from the company today. Uh, again, it's still uh, uh, um, sticking to this uh, the floor of this rising trend channel from. Uh, uh, the early part of last year, floor of the channel there at uh, 3.7 pence. Above that, we're in, uh, I suppose, at recovery mode, but uh, really need to see an end of day or a weekly close above 4 pence and uh, that uh, November resistance line projection to open up a pr- the prospect of a 6 pence plus target by the end of next month or uh, six to eight weeks after any sustained 4 pence break. Uh, obviously, we don't want to see sub uh, 3.5 at the moment, although the overall pattern here. Uh, with support points above the 200-day moving average at 2.95 pence is one of a, a stock which is in a bull trend. So uh, it is looking pretty firmly based in terms of the upside at the moment. On to st- another stock which has been requested, Enquest, uh, usually rather slower than uh, the type of thing we look at here. But uh, we have had uh, one of the favorite bulletin board hero setups, uh, which was earlier in the week, uh, which is a gap through resistance. So we had that uh, on Monday. Uh, so the close above 15 pence and above uh, the January peak there at 14.8. So that was a, a, a big plus and uh, shares have followed through on that. And uh, given that the the gap remains unfilled, we are allowed to be as optimistic as we like, which in this case would mean the the shares hitting the top of a rising trend channel from March last year uh, at 24 pence as soon as the end of next month. Upside valid while we hold above 15 pence. A uh, stock which uh, quite a few people have been asking me about, um, and uh, unfortunately I don't know as much about the company as I should, is fast forward. But the charting situation has been great since the break of that uh, September resistance line there at 9 pence 
a couple of weeks back. Uh, and even though we've uh, come up a long way or already, uh, we've still got the possibility of an August trend channel top target as high as 19 pence uh, by the end of next month. The upside very much in place while we hold above that uh, spike that we had earlier uh, this month at 12 pence, above 12 pence, up to 19 pence by the end of next month as a minimum. In fact, one would probably be looking for uh, much more. Uh, let's say, uh, for instance, something of the uh, of the order of uh, 25 pence uh, over the spring could be on its way but at least at the moment looking for 19 pence by the end of next month uh, gun send uh, shares slow down a bit uh, of late but uh, looks like they're ready to uh, uh, be on their way again uh, we had some state building news i think uh, earlier in the week and uh, or last week uh, the current situation is that we bounced off this uh, support line there from uh, the beginning of november end of day close above the 50 day moving average at 1.97 pence today should be enough to start a journey up towards three and a half pence, which is uh, the top of uh, an August price channel, rising trend channel uh, from last year. So uh, looking pretty well set if we can sustain the two pence level on Gunsend. Uh, stock of the week, uh, even more perhaps than uh, our friend uh, Argo Blockchain has been uh, Canabo. Um, right, quite an exciting situation there. Uh, perhaps getting a bit hyped up at the moment, uh, just a little bit, let's say. Uh, but uh, we were looking for 50 pence, which was hit both yesterday and today. Current situation, I suppose, is we've got a rising trend channel on the hourly chart based around the 38 pence level. So above that, the uptrend uh, from the uh, start of proceedings here remains in place. And the best case scenario target here would then be uh, 80 pence. Uh, stop loss for the bulls probably at the moment uh, was obviously rather big in percentage terms, but uh, uh, that moving average there at uh, 31 pence or so would probably be the most you'd want to risk at this stage. If you're cautious on the stock, which some might be after the double top of 50 pence, you'd wait for an end of day close above 50 pence to then uh, offer up the possibility of 80 pence. But uh, I think the 50 pence plus looks a little bit hot at the moment, probably looking to consolidate between uh, 30 and 40 pence over the near term. Uh, a stock which has been uh, called as uh, uh, the next uh, cannabis play uh, by uh, some people on uh, social media is uh, Minds and Machines. You can already see a rather sharp spike. Uh, but the shares, uh, if they can deliver a decent end of day close through five and a half pence and above uh, post-November resistance, uh, and especially above the 200-day moving average at uh, 5.6 pence, we could be looking at uh, a one to two month target here as high as the top of the rising trend channel from the beginning of March at 10 pence by the end of next month. This stage only back below uh, the 50 day line at 4.95 pence really delaying the upsides uh, scenario for mines and machines group. Uh, another cannabis play uh, is um, uh, coming up here, probably the stock of the day in terms of the movement. Just get the uh, hourly chart uh, view here now uh, for you in the sense that uh, obviously there's not much charting data to go uh, by. Uh, the, the big break here was uh, clearly through the 5 pence area, gapped up through that. Uh, the view at this stage is that while we're above the second gap at 6 pence, we've got a best case scenario target on the hourly chart as high as 12 pence over the next two to four weeks. So above 6 up to a possible 12, even though obviously we're rather overheated at the moment for MGC Pharma. Uh, another stock which has been requested is uh, coming up uh, uh, next. Uh, I think I haven't looked at this for um, quite a while, or so Mining, but a beautiful break here of um, recent 30 pence resistance. And while we're above 30 pence, we're looking towards the top of the rising trend channel from the end of September as high as 65 pence over the next six to eight weeks. Uh, looks as though um, that is a valid target on the basis that we've spent so long uh, post you know, post October uh, consolidating for the shares. So there should be a bit of a logjam effect in terms of the upside now. So looking for 65 while we're above 30 on Orisor. Just a couple of stocks to go now in this uh, long session. First is um, uh, Premier uh, African, uh, where we've had a, a very strong breakthrough, both uh, December resistance at uh, 0 0.06 pence and the uh, uh, 200-day moving average at that level. Uh, the longer we stay above the 200-day line, the greater the chance of a move to retest uh, last year's resistance through 0.17 and uh, the top of uh, the, the one-year trend channel at the same level. So 
above uh, 0 0.06 up to 0 0.17 on a one to two month time frame. I think uh, if that targets hit, it will really uh, it will really confirm that uh, the stock market is in a bu in uh, bull mode at the moment. Finishing off with uh, a stock which is one of today's big movers and uh, looking very good indeed, if only on the basis that its uh, Ross Group has delivered what we like to see here, which is a gap through resistance, gap through the uh, what 2019 and 20 resistance, two pence. And uh, the view of the stage is that uh, the longer we stay above two and a half pence, which was uh, the late 2019 resistance level, the greater the chance of a move towards eight pence, uh, which is the top of the uh, 2019 trend channel. Uh, in terms of the stop loss, uh, probably really an end of day close back below two and three quarter pence is the best we can uh, do at the moment. And uh, ideally, there's a decent uh, close above uh, the initial February resistance, 3.9 pence today or uh, for the week ahead of a move towards eight pence. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.